Hello, good morning, friends. We are here to meet again after a break of two days. And today we shall begin a new chapter, chapter 4 on climate. So we continue with geography and we study the new chapter on based on climate. You know, we all experience climate, different types of climate. Sometimes it is very hot, sometimes it is very cold, sometimes it is very rainy, sometimes it is mild rain. And so we experience different types of climate in our place. And different places in the world experience different types of climates, different types of temperatures. So let us see what is the reason for all this. How this temperature is different from place to place? That's what we are going to see in this lesson. And what are the factors that are influencing the change of climate? The, some places it is too extreme. Why it is so and so on. And also we will be studying about the monsoon rain. How the monsoon rain comes to India? What are the factors influencing that and so on. So we shall begin our lesson. And you can take lesson number 4, page number 26. So in the last two chapters, we have read about the landforms and the drainage of our country. So we studied about the different landforms, the mountains, the valleys, the plateaus and the fertile plains, the mountains, all that, the different features, physical features of our country we studied in chapter 2. And in chapter 3 we saw about the drainage system or the river system in our country. Now, these are the two of the three basic elements that one learns about the natural environment of any area. So anyone studying about the natural environment of the area, of the land they will be studying about all this so these are the two and there is one more is there so the physical features and the drainage system and let's see what is the third one in this chapter you will learn about the third that is the atmospheric conditions that prevail over our country so the third one is the atmospheric conditions that prevail though the conditions of the atmosphere that is mostly the wind the wind and the heat and so on so we, that is the third one when we study about the basic elements about natural environment and why do we wear woolen in december or why it is so hot and uncomfortable in the month of may and why it rains in the month of june july the answer to all these questions can be found out by studying about the climate of India. So, as I said in the beginning, you may be experiencing the extreme climates in some times. So, in zero, you will be ex experiencing the extreme cold climate, especially December, January and so on. And some other time, some other places if you go, if you go to Rajasthan, Bihar and so on, the temperature is very high in the especially in the month of april may and so on so their people will be dying out of heat the heat waves are there so they will be dying so we see people experiencing different types of climates in different places why so when you study the this lesson on climate we'll be having all our doubts clarified we'll be having very clear idea why in the world such changes are taking place? What is the reason behind all these things that we will be studying in this lesson? So let us begin or let us see what is the meaning of climate. We are, the title of the chapter itself is climate. Let us see what do we mean by the term climate. So climate refers to the sum total of weather conditions and variations over a large area for a long period of time that is more than 30 years so you can underline what is climate 
climate refers to some total of weather conditions and various variations over a large area for a long period of time. So, over a large area of the land and for a long period of time, what are the situations there? What are the conditions and the climate change variations on the weather? Then only we can call it a climate. Suddenly one day is very hot, so we cannot say the climate of this area is hot. We cannot. So, it should be for over a long period of time. That is for more than 30 years of uh, period. Duration should be there. Then only we can officially acknowledge this is the climate of this place. But suddenly one day is very cold, so I cannot say this place is very cold climate. No, that is just for one day or one year. But it is for over 30 years of period. If that same climate continues, then we can say the climate of that place is cold or hot or what it is. So that's, that are the two conditions. One should be it is for a long, long area or a large area of a place. Then also it should be a long duration that is for 30 years. Then only we can really say this is the place, the climate of that place. Then what is the meaning of weather? What does weather mean? So weather refers to the state of the atmospheric atmosphere over an area at any point of time. So weather, when we say weather, we can say it is the state of atmosphere over an area at any point of time. So that's the difference between climate and weather. Climate means it is meant for a large area and for a duration of 30 years or more. But weather means it is just at any point. We can say the weather of zero that is only in this area. We can say the weather of mm, Yachuli that is in another area. So and it is for one day. We say today's weather in zero is very bad we can say. So we are not looking for long period of time, we are just talking, weather means we are talking about only just one area and one point of time, maybe it is raining, so we say weather is very bad, we cannot say climate is very bad, if you want to say climate is very bad or very hot, we have to wait for 30 years and observe, we have to see last 30 years how was the weather here, if it is continuously hot then we can say the climate of zero is very cold or very hot. But when we talk about weather, we don't talk about such a long period of time, just at one point of time, what is the weather? That is a difference. So, climate means it is for over 30 years of period. No, weather means it is just for one point of time. And the elements of weather and climate are the same, that is temperature. So, how the weather or the climate is changing, the elements are same. So, it is, it is temperature, the first element of weather or the climate is temperature, then second one is atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure means the pressure in the atmosphere, that is the wind, we have often experienced the wind blowing from one place to another, usually the wind is blowing from where there is hot temperature, the pressure is high. So, it will blow from there to the place where temperature is very low. So from hot place to cold place, the wind has got the tendency to move. Then wind, humidity. So another one is wind itself. So atmospheric pressure, then the wind. So because of the pressure, the air starts moving. That is what we call wind. Then <coughs> the humidity. How much of water contents are there in the air? The humidity. Then the precipitation. How much is the precipitation? How much is the rainfall? So all these are things, these are the features that change the climate of a place or weather of a place. If it is very windy, we say it is a windy today. So tomorrow not necessary to blow the wind. Wind may be there for today or it may be there for 2-3 days, then it may stop. So we cannot say the climate of the place is windy. If it is for 30 years, wind is continuously blowing every day, then we can say this place, the climate of this place is windy. Otherwise we have to say the weather is windy. 
So I hope you understood the difference. If it is uh, not lasting for a long period of time, then we call it weather and we uh, say precisely today's weather or this uh, two days weather or three days weather and so on. Otherwise, if it is lasting for a long period of time, like 30 years, having the same type of weather, then we can say the climate of this place is like this. So climate, when we consider about climate, we take a large area, but when we talk about weather, we consider only a small area. I hope it is clear. So you may have observed that the weather conditions fluctuate very often even within a day. So we can see in our own place it is very clear. The weather conditions are not same. They are fluctuating, going up and down. They are fluctuating. Sometimes we see bright sunshine in the morning. 8 o'clock we see very bright sunshine. After 2 hours we see suddenly there is a heavy rain. So the temperature or the weather is fluctuating. The weather is not same. Morning very bright sunshine then suddenly rain starts. Or morning it is rain and suddenly rain stops and sun shines. So the weather can fluctuate from within a day. But there is some common patterns over a few weeks or months that is days are cooler or hot. So the weather will can keep on fluctuating but when we observe we can see that the there is a common pattern that is lasting for 2 weeks, 3 weeks, 4 weeks and so on. For example, we find the days are hotter. It is remaining, continue to remain. There may be rain, there may be sunshine, but the average temperature of the day is higher. Or it may be cooler, temperature may be lower. So, it again differ from place to place. So, it can be cloudy. Sometimes we see continuously the sky is cloudy. Or sometimes it is very bright continuously. And sometimes it is wet, that means rainy. Or sometimes it is dry and so on. And on the basis of generalized monthly atmospheric conditions, the year is divided into seasons such as winter, summer, rainy seasons and so on. So we see sometimes we continuously experience the climate for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks and so on. So according to this, then after that five weeks, maybe climate is changed a little bit. Then after some time, after two months, maybe the climate is changed again. So according to this change of climate, we can divide the divide them into seasons. So what are the seasons we have? So the year we can divide. So usually in the winter season, maybe starting from November, November, December, January, February. So these months we experience cold. Therefore, this is a winter season. After that, slowly, slowly the temperature starts rising and then summer season begins. Maybe March, April, May, it is a hot season and the temperature is high. That is the summer season. Then the rain starts. So it is rainy season or monsoon season. So accordingly, we can divide the year. But it may not be same throughout the world. When it is very hot here, some other place it may be raining or somewhere it may be cold. So everywhere the season is not same or the climate is not same. So we are precisely talking about the situation in India that we are going to divide. When are we going to get rain? When are we going to get winter season? When are we going to get rainy season? And so we are precisely talking in the context of India. So not in the whole world, but about India. Now, the world is divided into a number of climatic regions. So if you divide or if you take the whole world, then we can see the whole world has got different climatic regions. It is not same everywhere. Do you know what type of climate India has and why it is so? We will learn about it in this chapter. So, India occupies a certain place in the globe and therefore India experiences a climate. India is closer to equator, therefore India is experiencing equatorial climate that is usually hot. 
and some are in the Arctic region or Antarctic region, they experience severe cold because they receive, they are far from the equator and they receive very little sunshine. Therefore, they experience severe cold. But in India, we experience moderate climate because we are closer to equator and we experience hot climate and we experience cold climate and we also experience uh, rainy season we receive monsoon rains therefore we experience a moderate climate mixed with everything is mixed so we don't experience much extreme climate not too hot and not too hot and not too rainy so sometimes it can change a little bit but normally that is the temperature we ring we receive the above we shall go in detail about these different aspects or different climates that we receive in our country and there's a little general knowledge given there do you know the word monsoon is delivered der derived from the arabic word mausim which literally mean season so the word monsoon is coming from an arabic word what is a arabic word it goes calls mausim and literally in arabic it means season and monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal in the wind direction during the year so when we call monsoon here it means the seasonal reversal of the wind so the wind is blowing in one direction after a certain season it will start reversing it will start going back so that seasonal reversal of the wind every year it happens same way so that reversal is called season in the monsoon in india now the climate of india is described as the monsoon time so when we talk about the climate of india we call it we have a monsoon type of climate what type of climate we have monsoon climate monsoon time we have a monsoon type of climate and this type of climate is found mainly in south and southeast asia so this monsoon climate is found mostly in which part of asia south and southeast asia so throughout asia this monsoon climate is not available it is available in monsoon and monsoon sorry it is available in south and southeast asia despite an overall unity in the general pattern so despite an overall unity in the general pattern there are percep perceptible regional variations in climatic conditions within the country so we say there is a unit in the monsoon comes from or gets in south and southeast asia so there is a general unity is there in the way they receive this monsoon rain monsoon climate but from place to place it is not exactly the same though it is in general we can say there is some kind of similarity is there but throughout the area it is not same from region to region there are certain differences are there certain changes are there so let us take two important elements temperature and precipitation an example how they vary from place to place and season to season so let us take the example we said though there is a unity is there in monsoon type of climate but from place to place it is different and for example to show that we take the example of precipitation and sorry temperature and precipitation so in summer the mercury occasionally touches 50 degrees celsius in some parts of rajasthan desert whereas it may be around 20 degrees celsius in Palgaon in Jammu and Kashmir. So we say India is under monsoon climate. But we see the temperature is not same throughout the country. So if you go to Rajasthan in summer season, the temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. 
almost half of the water boiling temperature. So here you experience hardly 20, 22, 23 in the summer temperature. Maximum it may go up to 25. And you suddenly feel it is so hot, is it not? So imagine if you go to Rajasthan in summer, the temperature is 50 degrees, double of what you experience here. So you can imagine. Then if you go at, at that time in Jammu and Kashmir, if you go to Palghar, what will be the situation? It may be just 20 degree Celsius. So where in Rajasthan they experience 50 degrees Celsius, in Jammu and Kashmir, in Palghar, they are experiencing just 20 degrees Celsius, very mild climate. So that is to show the example between two areas of our own country. Then let us see, on a winter night, temperature at a trance in Jammu and Kashmir may be as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. So the same place, if you go to Jammu and Kashmir, in winter, what will be the temperature? It is going minus 45. So you can imagine here how much it comes in the winter, December, January. It may be coming early minus 4, 5 and so on. So if you go to Kashmir in winter, the temperature will be minus 45 degrees Celsius. But if you go in winter to Tiruvanthapuram, on the other hand, may have the temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So, where Kashmir is experiencing 45 degree, minus 45 degree Celsius tem temperature, Kerala people will be ex ex experiencing 20 degree, there is no minus, it is 20 degree Celsius. See the difference, two parts, uh, Kashmir in the northernmost and the Tirandrum in the southernmost, the temperatures are so much different. In Kashmir it is minus 45 and in Tiruvanthapuram it is 20 degrees Celsius. So there is so much of difference. So we see the whole area is under monsoon climate but it is not same from area to a area. The temperature is different from place to place and so on. Then again there is little general knowledge is there. Do you know? In certain places, there is a wide difference between day and night temperatures. So, we are talking about now the difference in temperature in seasons, in winter season or in summer season. But in the same place, it is possible that there is difference in temperature during the day and during the night. And in the Thar Desert, the day temperature may rise up to 50 degrees Celsius and drop down to near 15 degrees Celsius the same night. So if you go to Thar Desert, during the day the temperature is very high, like that of Rajasthan, 50 degrees Celsius it comes up. Then if you continue to remain there during the night, the temperature will come down to 15 degrees, quite comfortable, nice temperature, just 15 degrees. See the difference during the day 50 degree and during the night it comes down to 15 degree. On the other hand, there is hardly any difference in day and night temperature in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands or in Kerala. But if you go to Andaman and Nicobar Islands or if you go to Kerala, you will find the night temperature and the day temperature it is more or less same. There is no much difference. Here in Thar, Thar Desert, there is so much of difference, 15 and 50, so much of, 35 degree difference is there. But if you go to this southern part of India, the Andaman Nicobar Islands or in Kerala, you find the night temperature and the day temperature, they are more or less same. Not exactly, but there may be little difference may be there, but that is not much notice. So that is a general knowledge for you. Then. Let us now look at precipitation. So precipitation, what is the meaning of precipitation? It is opposite of evaporation. Evaporation means water is going up. Is it not? Water is evaporating, it is going up. Precipitation means water is coming down. In what way water is coming down? It can come down mostly in the form of rain. During the rain water comes down. Of course there is snowfall and so 
that is also a form of water coming down but here precipitation we mainly mean about the water coming down during the rainy season and there are variations not only in the form and the types of precipitation but also it is amount its amount and the seasonal distribution so we said we are in the area of monsoon and we receive monsoon rainfall but throughout india it is not same some places receive more rainfall some places receive less rainfall so it is different from place to place and while precipitation is mostly in the form of snowfall in the upper parts of himalayas it rains over the rest of the country so himalayan part what kind of precipitation they get they get in the form of rainfall the, uh, sorry in the form of snowfall the himalayan mountain the temperature is very low therefore instead of getting rainfall they get snowfall so most of the other parts of the world where the temperature is very low they also receive lot of snowfall throughout the year or some part of the year when the temperature is very low so in our country the himalayan region also receives the snowfall that is the precipitation that they receive but in rest of india they we don't receive rain we don't receive snowfall instead we receive rainfall and the annual precipitation varies over 400 cm in meghalaya to less than 10 cm in ladakh and western rajasthan so we said we do not receive precipitation throughout india in the same way so if you go to meghalaya the rainfall is 400 cm per year so they receive the 400 cm rainfall in the year how do they measure rainfall they keep a container and receive the water into that they keep the container in the open space where there is no tree nothing is there to disturb and at the end of the year they see what is the length of that water collected in that container so it can come up to 40 cm that means the rainfall was very good and some places if you go to ladakh or rajasthan and so on they receive only just 10 cm see the difference meghalaya receives 400 cm of rainfall while rajasthan or ladakh receive only just 10 cm of rain so they receive very a uh, little rainfall that's why that the region always remain very dry so the rajasthan becomes very hot because they receive very less rainfall and most parts of the country receive rainfall from june to september so the duration or the period during which we receive rainfall in india is between june and september and but some parts like tamil nadu Coast get most of its rain during October and November, but some of the places in our country, for example, Tamil Nadu, their area receive rainfall during another season, that is between October to November. Other places receive June, July, August, and September, but after that the rain starts in Tamil Nadu. In general. coastal areas experience less contrast contrast in temperature conditions seasonal contrasts are more in the interior of the country and there is a decrease in rainfall generally from east to west and the northern plains and these variations have given rise to variety in lives of people in terms of food they eat the clothes they wear and also the kind of houses they live in so because of this difference in temperature or the climate from one place to another we have got the lifestyle of the people are also different the dress that they wear is not same from one end of or the one end of the country to the another end so they see if those who are living in the hot place they'll be wearing cotton clothes mostly or people who are living in the very cold region like jammu and kashmir they'll be wearing woolen clothes to protect them 
So also the food habits that they eat. The people who are living in the cold place, the type of food they eat is not the same as people who live in the hot place. Live. So according to the uh, place where they live, according to the climate of that place or weather of that place, they keep on changing their lifestyle. The food they eat, the dress they wear, the work that they do, all that is different. And the houses that they live in, or everybody is not making same type of house. According to the climate conditions, they will be changing the house as well. And so we shall wind up today and we will begin the next class. So, so far what we are talking about was just introduction. And the next class we will be studying about in detail, element by element, point by point, in order to thoroughly understand what is the real reason for different climates in India, how do we receive rain or what are the factors that are affecting or influencing the rain and so on. So thank you for listening and shall meet you again in the next class. Until then, bye.